Sunday, no drum shop work today. Gonna putz around in my home shop and my brother from another mother and father, just to be clear, Michael Lawing, said it was good to see me in my own shop. So here we go again. I'm gonna start by cleaning my shop apron with a shop vac and then reattaching my patches, which are kind of flaking. Vacuum the floor, vacuum the surfaces, try to re-glue down these washers that failed. Super glue didn't work. Maybe they can just stay free. It doesn't really matter. I do wash this now and again. It just gets filthy with dust the same day, so. I've had this one a few years. I should probably buy another one. It's covered in glue. No holes yet, though. If you don't have an electrical cord reel, get one. Good enough. Now we just gotta put it on. Nice. I made this drum three years ago and it was my second attempt at the water droplet effect. I was trying to do the entire shell in a water droplet effect. That failed. I tried to do half of it at a time. That failed. There's a video on this whole process. Finally finished it with the stripes. Did the video, the instructable, got it all out of the way, took it back apart. I was going to take it to Calderwood and fix it. Never got around to it. Life just gets in the way, I guess. Today, I'm scuffing it up. I'm going to try to fix it with a rattle can. If that doesn't work, I'll just take it to Calderwood. I did attempt to film the process of respraying this drum but it was a struggle fest, so I gave up. I don't have a spray booth, and you know, you can only vacuum a basement so well, there's gonna be floating particulate. That kept landing in the finish. Hence my fort made of insulation board. So I'll take this down and see what we have. It's not perfect, but it's better than it was. I did not like the high gloss finish. This is a satin finish. I probably could sand it out a little more. It just seems like diminished returns. So I'm gonna take the tape off, Clean up any bearing edge, spill over, hit it with a coat of Renaissance wax, put it back together. If you get really up on it, you can see some scratches in the paint, a little bit of uh, alligator skin in the stripe. But once all the hardware's on, you won't notice. It'll look good. I spared you for most of the assembly because how many drums can you watch being assembled? Well, a lot, but how many do you want to watch? Probably not many. Unless I'm giving tips or tricks. It's kind of pointless. I will say, I do like this tray. I've used foam mats for years to keep the bearing edges from getting banged up, but having everything in one spot with all the hardware divvied out, it's a good upgrade. Good job, me. Bad boys reassembled, can join the others in the office. Next project, maybe modify that router jig or work on this beast. Time will tell. For now, we eat candy.